and welcome to another video from Hegarty Maths, a core for maths A level video on vectors and the intersection of two vector equations. As always, check out the YouTube or Twitter or Google Plus for more help with your maths. This is our eighth video and we're help, helping with edit cell core four. We've done vector equations of lines and now we're doing the intersection or otherwise of two lines. Okay, just before we get into it, here's the big idea. Suppose you had a vector equation of a line, this one here, and maybe I'll color this uh, a different color blue. Okay, and say this was of the form R is equal to A plus T B. Okay, remember what that means. Uh, I'll do everything in a different color. There's the origin. You know a point A on the line, and you know this vector to get there is A. And you know the direction of the line is B. So you know any point on the line is given by that formula. Suppose you have another line here. And suppose that um, that's a different line. Okay. And similarly, this has its own sort of vector. Let's say um, this has its own point on the line. Instead of A, let's call this, I don't know, C. This is little vector C and it's got its own direction which we might call D. Sorry, um, my fault. Yeah, it's got its own direction which we might call D. Then the vector equation of this line is R is equal to C plus not T, let's say S, some lots of D. Okay, so they're two uh, vector equations of a line. Now these two lines may meet each other. They may meet at this point here. They may not meet. You can imagine three dimensions. One might go over the other. They may not meet or they may meet. Now, if they meet, then the, there is some T and some S that it, we could find if they did meet that would make their um, coordinates, the R values the same. For, so for a particular T and a particular S, it may be the case that the coordinates are the same. Alternatively, we may be able to find no T or no S where the R, R uh, position vectors are the same, in which case they don't intersect. So that's what we're trying to do here, and let's do it via an example, it's the easiest way. Now, show that the lines with vector equations as follows intersect and find the position vector of their point of intersection. It's always much easier to write these lines in, their, in column vectors. So the first one, let's call this one R1 maybe. Right, R1. The easier way of writing that is 3, 8, negative 2 plus T lots of 2, negative 1, 3. And even easier with these questions combined. So I'd write that as 3 plus 2T. I'd write that as 8, subtract T. And I'd write this one as negative 2 plus 3T. Okay? Now let's do the same with this one, which we might call R2. So R2 is going to be 7, 4, 3, plus S lots of 2, 1, 4. So combining these, it would be 7 plus 2S, it would be 4 plus S, and it would 3 plus 4S. Okay? Now, we're told these intersect. So for some value of T, for some T that I need to find, and for some S I need to find, for those particular values, if I substitute back into the R, R equations, they'll have the same position vectors. So in particular, I can make these equal. So I can say that 3 plus 2t, 8 subtract t, and negative 2 plus 3t, that must be equal to this, if they do intersect, 7 plus 2s, 4 plus s, and 3 plus 4s. Now we're told they intersect, so the x numbers must be the same, the y numbers must be the same, and the z numbers must be the same. So I can write from this uh, th three equations to start with. I could write that 3 plus 2t must be equal to 7 plus 2s. Okay? And potentially an easier way to write that is have all the s's and t's in the same side and the numbers on, on another side. So subtract 7 off both sides, subtract 2t off both sides, I'll get 2s subtract 2t is equal to negative 4, and I could even divide by 2 to make it simpler. Negative 2 is equal to s subtract t. There's my first equation from this one. 
Okay, let's get another equation from this one. I have 8 subtract t would be 4 plus s. Let's get it in the form s and, and t. So let's add t to both sides and take away 4. I will get 4 is equal to s plus t. That's my second equation. Now I can get a third equation, but I only have two things to find out, so I only need two equations. So I might call this equation A, this equation B. What would happen if I added A to B, these ones? Well, here I would get uh, 2 is equal to 2S, and the T's would cancel, so S must be equal to 1. If S is 1, S must be, e uh, if S is equal to 1, I could substitute back in here or here, and T must be equal to 3. So I've got S is 1 and T is 3. I found those values, and now I need to substitute them back in here to find where they're equal. So if I substitute T back in here, 3 plus 2 lots of 3 would be 3 plus 6, which is 9. 8 subtract T, which would be 5. And negative 2 plus 9, which would be 7. Okay? And on the other side of things, let's sub substitute the 1 in there. 7 plus 2 lots of S is 9. 4 plus 1 is 5, and 3 plus 4 is 7. These, This here is the point of intersection. Here's the S and T that made it happen. Sub them back into your vector equations at the end to find the position vector of the intersection. Now, in a case, there could be cases where you try and solve these equations and there's no solution, or you solve for S and T, and you substitute back in, and it makes two of them the same and one of them different, then there's no point of intersection. The x and the y and the z components of the position vector must all be equal for this to be true. If you're trying to find if it, a case where they're not true, you would try and solve, and when you can't find uh, an s or a t, or you can't find, uh, if you find an s and t and it doesn't make them the same, then there is no intersection. Okay, so that's it for this particular topic. Just to consolidate, uh, reach out to 5 pages 79 to 80 and make sure you do exercise 5a all of those they will solidify your learning thanks for watching